Okay, what we have here is a uh, O2 Ford Sport Track, Explorer Sport Track, and a common problem on just about all Ford trucks of this era was this overhead display thing here. The display would go out, your compass and your uh, temperature reading. If you can handle uh, pulling a few screws out and removing this thing, two Phillips screw to hold it into the roof right here, and then on the back side just two uh, to snap in so you just take two screws out and you can pull the thing off this off the roof or off the ceiling and then you can take this thing apart and if you try to show you right here where our problem is uh, there's a series of resistors three of them right here it's these two resistors right here that control the brightness of the display and uh, these two resistors are prone to getting very hot and that heat causes the soldering, the solder joints here to corrode. I've uh, re-soldered these two. This was a, an operative display. Solder these two resistors right here and right here, and then try to get them soldered again on the back side back there. And uh, you can take this apart, leave it plugged in like this, and we'll put it in the vehicle. Turn our vehicle on. And there we can see our display is working once again as it should be. So that's about it. Just a couple of resistors to solder. And uh, should be good to go again. Like I said, it's a little bit of a hassle taking this all apart, but it ain't it ain't too bad. It's just all just a few uh, torch head screws and it all goes back together pretty easy again and snap it back up in there and put your two screws back in and it should be good to go. Pretty easy repair. These things are getting hard to find in a salvage yard because everybody just swaps them out when they go bad. So uh, I decided to take a look at it and see if it's repairable and sure enough, just like with most instrument cluster displays where the display doesn't work anymore, it's usually a matter of resistors that control the voltage going to the display that tend to get hot and uh, tend to corrode and burn up. And if they're still there, just re-solder the joints and everything should work again. So I guess that's about it. And again, this was an O2 Explorer, but these things were found in a lot of uh, Ford trucks back in the early 2000s. I remember Super Duties, that about half of them you'd see come in here, they would uh, be burnt out and figured out a way that uh, you can actually fix them. So I guess that's about it.